home bosses welcome to my channel thank you for watching and um, today I want to talk about how to convert PDFs into PNGs or JPEGs some of you have asked me how do you modify ready-made interiors for books that we have bought maybe on Creative Fabrica or wherever you bought them from you've got a ready-made interior for a book but it's a PDF so how can you add to it how can you modify it and make it your own interior so that it's not the same as everybody else's well there's a very easy way to do it in tangent templates I will show you other ways to do it but today I'm going to show you how to convert a PDF into a PNG in tangent templates so let's hop over to tangent templates and I show you this is the the first page in tangent templates you've got the menu at the top and we click on more tools and you've got quite a few tools here that are really interesting but we want to click on the PDF inspector and converter and now we can upload our PDF here so I what I usually do is I buy ready-made interiors from Creative Fabrica sometimes I buy them from from other places as well but let's hop over to Creative Fabrica and I show you how I do it normally so here on Creative Fabrica we go on to graphics in the menu and we go all the way down to KDP interiors and click on that and that will show us all the KDP interiors that we can find now I think this is amazing and this is a fantastic way of finding new niches as well because I always get a lot of ideas when I look at this I think wow I could make this book or I could make a planner with dates or I could you know there's so many things you can make here um, I get a lot of questions from people regarding coloring books I personally don't make coloring books because I think that if you buy coloring books from Creative Fabrica or from any other places where they are already made I think you're running the danger of making the same book as somebody else I prefer to make other types of books for me I think the planners the log books those kind of books sell better so that's what I'm concentrating on so what kind of book am I going to download to show you how to convert to a PNG so we've got look at this one KDP saving budget and bills planner this is exactly what we were talking about in my last video very good niche to to have books in so this is definitely one that I would download and uh, and make a book in but I will choose a different one because we spoke about bill planners in my last video so let's do something a little bit different I like this one intermittent fasting journal this is really great as a niche so another tip there um, let's see what else we can find I love this budget planner very good KDP Ninja you're really bringing out some really good interiors I must say <laughs> let's try this medication logbook because this seems like quite a simple one we can definitely do something with that so let's download this I'm on the subscription with Creative Fabrica so I can download any amount any graphics any interiors and it's all covered with the license that they're offering for the subscription so I just click download and then I open the file so you can actually make the changes in PowerPoint or Keynote or similar software to change your interiors I used to use PowerPoint all the time at the beginning in fact my first book interiors I made them all on PowerPoint and that was before I discovered Canva and now I do everything on Canva so today I'm going to show you how to make those changes in Canva by changing the PDF file to a PNG file so let's open the PDF let's make this a little bit smaller so we can have a look at it so this is the PDF file for the medication logbook let's have a look at the pages so we've got some 
nice graphics so it starts with week of medication and then you've got the days of the week the dose the time that you've taken it and any reaction that you have to the medication and then there's a page to say how you felt that day so let's get going let's let's save this file so that we can then upload it to tangent templates so i'm going to take this file here save it onto my desktop so i have to extract it and i'll put it on my desktop and then what i do is we go back onto tangent templates and we upload that pdf and now we've uploaded the pdf onto tangent templates and the other really good thing about tangent templates it tells you a lot of information it tells you that it's a medication logbook six by nine how many pages when it was created and it also tells you if there's bleed or no bleed so, so if you ever forget whether one of your files is bleed or no bleed you can put it into tangent template into this pdf inspector and it will tell you all the details about it so it also checks it it checks that it's correct for kdp and then what we want to do is we want to scroll down right to the bottom and say click to view fonts pages and download png so this is going to convert this uh, medication logbook into pngs so you can download individual pages or you can download the whole thing what i like to do is i only download individual pages because this one for example we can create our own first page i like to create a copyright page as my first page and maybe something that says this book belongs to and then they can put their name in and i don't think we need this one we can make our own but what i do want is these kind of pages so that we can make our interior and change it so all i need is really this page and this page because all the others are just a repeat i'll just check the whole document to see if they are all the same and it does look like it i'll just go to the end yep they're all the same so let me go back to the top and i'm going to download this one and this one and now we can use these to upload them into canva and that is how you convert a pdf file into a png file on tangent templates and in my next video i'm going to show you how you can upload the png to canva and transform and change that interior to make it different from the interior that you downloaded so that you don't have the same interior as somebody else so thank you so much for watching this was a quicker video than usual thank you so much for all your lovely comments as usual if you have any questions leave them below the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing because then you can get notifications every time i bring out a new video thank you once again and i'll see you next time bye bye